We just flew to Seattle from Orlando to get on board the Ovation of the Seas. We're so excited for this seven night cruise to Alaska. We got here early and now we're boarding. This is also super exciting because neither of us have been on this class of ship before. So this is brand new for both of us. It's quantum class, but it's Ovation of the Seas. We're actually gonna be the fourth group to board right now. It's insane. <laughs> First things first, Windjammer. Okay, but first, what about how beautiful the ship is? Wow. Whoa. This is crazy. <laughs> I've been like keeping everything a secret. I haven't looked at any videos or anything of this ship. Yeah. This is all new to me. It, it's kind of the same as the other Royal Promenades, but also way, way, way elevated. So we can't do Windjammer yet because we have to do our mustard drill right now? We do. So that's where we're heading right now and then we'll go do Windjammer. Yeah. This ship looks really nice so like, far. Just this hallway looks amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that's Jamie's Italian. We haven't been to a Jamie's Italian before. Wow. We're going there, I don't know when, but we have reservations. Immediately upon entry, they make you find your muster station. And they ask for your name, they check you in, and then they go through like the whole spiel of how to put on your life jacket and like come here when anything happens and that whole thing. Okay. So we're finished with that. Now it's time for Windjammer finally. I'm very hungry. Yeah, because our time... We're on East Coast time. So it's 11.45 right now, but really that's like... 2.45? 2 right yeah. yeah, so we're hungry. Yeah. This buffet wow. looks awesome. <laughs> wow. Thank you. <laughs> wow, this looks so good. Thank you. This looks so good. Compared to the windjammers we're used to. This is incredible. This is elevated. <laughs> this looks nice. I don't know what I want. Like first impressions of the ship, we've only seen like a tiny part of it. Yeah. It's like this is like this ship is just so much nicer. Yeah. It is the newest one we've done too though. That's true. This ship is classy. The buffet, the windjammer is amazing. The buffet is looks so good. I haven't taken a bite yet, but it's I'm very impressed. I love that they have outside seating. Yes. And look at this view. There's Seattle. That's incredible. We're in Seattle. I don't know if I mentioned that. I got a chicken um, quesadilla, swordfish and beef and a ham sandwich. I got a turkey and ham wrap, Mexican corn and Mexican chicken salad, as well as the chicken fajita. I love that we can eat outside at the Windjammer. And the weather? Oh, the weather is so good. It is like 70 degrees. I could be wearing this. I could not be wearing this. Like, I'd be happy in anything. That's the best weather. And this food. And this has Talk been, about this food. This has been the best Windjammer meal we've ever had. This is the best meal I've ever had. Way better than Adventure or Freedom. Like, you can't even compare the two. The options, like, you could have gotten a plethora of items, and I think they all would have been amazing. Yeah. So. Yes, I'm thrilled. So now we're going to walk around a little bit, um, but we should say um, all the adults on board, everyone over 12 has to be vaccinated and test negative before boarding. Um, and they gave us these little wristbands here to yeah. prove that we're vaccinated and tested, I guess. Yeah. So, wow. So this is the Flow Rider and um, what is it called? I almost called it Rip Ride Rocket. <laughs> Rip, rip core. Um, the indoor skydiving, iFly. Rip cord by iFly. Oh, and there's the um, the rock wall. And there's a panda. I love this ship already. Like this is this is better than freedom. We haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> wow, that will be a cool rock wall to do. <sighs> so now we're gonna check out the solarium. My favorite. I've never been to one before, but well. Oh, and and wait, since we're outside, you can take your mask off. Well, there's been solariums, but not one that's like this cool. cool. It's going to be a cool solarium. Also, a weird thing. My family just got off this ship. They were on this cruise a week earlier than us, so they just deboarded and we just boarded. We, we saw my sister with a drone. <laughs> and that's <laughs> but, it. But that's it. We didn't see them other than that. <laughs> but, uh, but, but they hid some ducks for us. They did. So, and they send us like cryptic messages and pictures so we can find them. 
Yeah, so hopefully we can find them today. There's the, the North Star. We have to see if we can get reservations for that. Yeah. So they have uh, this outdoor pool here, and then down the ways. There's an indoor pool and a solarium. Yeah, so this ship is really built for this type of cruise, a cold weather cruise. We've actually thought about doing like an Alaskan cruise or like a Norwegian cruise on a Disney ship, but we realized like those ships would not be good for cold weather. Yeah, we picked Royal specifically for the ship to do an Alaskan cruise because of the indoor pool and the solarium. Okay, so here's the indoor pool here. It's gonna be hard to see with the reflection. Yeah. But I think the roof can open up. Yeah, if you're having good weather. Or at least they can open up these windows. Like that's obvious where you're standing, they can open that, but I don't know about the top, but we'll see. Okay, so here's the pool area. This is the indoor pool area. And it actually said face mask on for the pool area, which is weird. Mm. But that counts as indoors. That's interesting. Probably, obviously, unless you're in the water. Right. So this is the solarium. <laughs> Hello. Oh, yes. Thank you. This area is for 16 and older. And they actually did just check our wristbands to see that we had our purple vaccinated wristband. Which is the first time that's ever happened. Oh wait, so that means we can take our mask off then. Oh yeah. So that's why in that area you have to have your mask on, but in this area you don't. Oh yeah. Um, okay. Look how pretty it is. So yeah, <laughs> it's, it's actually pretty warm in here. Yeah. This looks really cool. Wow. Oh, wow. This is why I wanted to come on this class of ship was for this. This is really cool. This is crazy. Look at the chairs. Look at the hot tubs. Oh, those hot tubs would be perfect for like when we're going through like the glacier. Glacier right there and hot tubs right there. This is why we chose Royal for an Alaskan cruise. Like imagine sitting here for the glacier. Yeah, they, they built this correctly for what it is. I almost want to come here for our glacier viewing rather than in our room. Because we could like go in the hot tub in the pool. And it would be so amazing. Yeah. It's like 5 a.m. when we're in the hot tub. Yeah. I don't know if they'll be open, but. Okay, so from the solarium, you can come out this door and now we're on top of the bridge. This is why we need to come here for the glacier viewing because we could like go in the hot tub, we can come out here, cause it's five hours long. Wow. I think they're fueling us up right there. This is so cool. Ah, this is. <laughs> okay, there's a bee following me. Oh my God, baby. Is it still there? Yes, and it's trying to kill me. The day that we're in the glacier, it starts at 5 a.m. and goes till 10 a.m. I don't know why they do it so early. It must just have to do with the itinerary or, the or weather. their weather, yeah. But we're definitely going to be up right probably, here early. Probably even 4 a.m. or earlier. Because What's great is because we're on Eastern time, yeah. which is three hours ahead anyway. No, here it's three hours ahead. No, it's three hours later here. Yeah. So like 5 a.m. is really 8 a.m. our time, so that's not going to be that, that too bad for us. So our rooms aren't ready yet, so we're just walking around. Probably going to get a snack and explore. Okay. So we're in the Esplanade. This is a blended mocha, which I got for free because I use my diamond drink voucher. I get four free specialty drinks. I don't know if you would call it specialty. I get four drinks a day. And where'd you get it from? From this place called La Patisserie. Um, oh, I don't the, know if that'll the, es show up. the Esplanade is essentially a smaller royal promenade. It's pretty much the same thing. My mouth is really cold, so it's hard to talk. Oh, baby. I don't know if it's smaller. I almost feel like it's bigger. I think it's a two-story. Oh yeah, this one is two decks, but I, I don't know. I think it also, it extends much further than you think. That's true. We haven't seen all of it yet. Yeah. yeah. So I actually think Royal Esplanade is a larger Royal Okay, Esplanade. well, we'll have to see about that. We will. But yeah, we're waiting for our room to be ready. What time is it currently and what time will the rooms be ready? We have an hour to go until it's ready. So you didn't answer my questions, but okay. Okay, it's, it's one o'clock and it'll be ready at two. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna 
Ask about North Star Reservations, which is the observation ride that goes up. Here's the thing. On the cruise planner online, there was an option for North Star, but it costs money. And we were like, we don't want to pay for it. We just want and to do I, the free version of it. But then I decided, you know what? I'll pay for it. And then it was sold out. <laughs> and when it was sold out, yeah, exactly. And so now we just want to check to see, is there a free version? Can we book one of the paid versions? We want to do the North Star. We just... It doesn't seem like it's possible anymore, so we need to ask us. We'll go ask, and then we're going to look around some more. Yeah. Of course, they have a Sorrento's. It looks so much bigger than our other ones. Like, do you think there's more slices of pizza? Uh, probably. It's probably better, too. They told us we can't book North Star yet. Yeah. They, so. But we can do it later on in the cruise, so. In the app. Yeah. We're still walking through. See, this is what I'm talking about, babe. Still in the Esplanade. And now there's, like, a bunch of stores over here. Oh, we should look at 270 and see what that looks like. I think we're walking towards it. Yeah, a lot more shopping on this ship than other ships that we've There's a lot of like jackets. I wonder if that's like people don't realize how cold it's going to be. <laughs> yeah. so this merchandise is kind of cool. Yeah. Like they have an Alaska sweatshirt. Yeah, we'll have to go through all of these once they open. Obviously, Can I get a moose? I want a moose. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, obviously the stores are still closed because we're in port. Can I oh, touch that? Oh, yeah, try it. Whoa! Wait, do it again. Which one? This one's pretty. Oh my Whoa. god! <laughs> okay, you get a prize if you can get all of them. Do I? Maybe something special happens when you get them all. That seems like a lot. And I'm not gonna help, by the way, I'm just gonna watch. Yeah, 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 I know. And film. <laughs> okay, some are appearing back, so oh, I, no. I will actually help. This seems hard. No, okay, this is impossible. <laughs> I'm done. I feel like we could actually, okay, we need to come back later and I actually really want to try. And we need to make friends. Okay, so this is the theater. So actually- We need to go up. 270 is up. So the pub in the Esplanade has the best burger. Are they bashing like the other places on board? <laughs> I don't know, but now we have to come here. I guess we do. By the way, I've been looking for the ducks. Oh, you have? My mom sent me a photo and it's impossible. Like literally, know, like, it looks like this. this. It looks like this, but this could be anywhere. Yeah, there's a lot of plant life. That's way too hard. I asked for another hint. Did what she say? Well, I think they're on a flight right now. But. Oh. And then the other clue was like the duck can't go into the pool. Okay, so it's not in the solarium, is that? Oh, maybe, I don't know. The duck isn't 16. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is really cool. Yeah. This is so much bigger than I thought it would be. It's cool. We should sit down here. So this is 270, which is like an observation area. They also have a cafe, but they also do shows here. So I think at night, when you don't have that great of a view, then you can see a show here. And there's Seattle. This place is even two decks. It's two decks high. Yeah, I knew that. Lots of people eating here from the cafe, yeah. the 270 cafe. We got a schedule of all the shows. This looks intense. This is a lot. There's a lot to review here. I don't have my highlighters. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we need to figure this out because we need to make reservations in the app. We picked out what shows. We consulted our Excel sheet to make sure that nothing interferes with our excursions or anything like that and our res dining reservations. Yeah, because we have an Excel spreadsheet of all of our yeah, and excursions it, and dining rooms. And it's not a joke. No, it's it's pretty legit. And it's actually very helpful. It is. And now they just announced our rooms already, so let's go. Our room is on deck seven. Is this literally our room? Oh. <laughs> Why is it open? Maybe they're still working on it. I don't think so. Yeah, this has our name. Oh, this, is awesome. <laughs> like, this is cool. So we're 7638. Can we go in or? Yeah. This is how AJ probably came in. Uh, yeah. Um, my brother-in-law said he left us a surprise in the room. I want to try to find it. I don't know if we should be in here because it's just- Yes, we should. Cookies. You know how I feel about cookies. We are in a spa junior suite. Um, this is, a, they call it a J4. It's kind of hard to find um because they don't really advertise them anymore there's two bathrooms yeah so this is the bathroom with the toilet and a sink and then here wow 
This is my first time seeing this. Um, there's a tub here. Okay, there's no shower curtain here. Yeah, because it's a tub. Okay, so, and then over here is the walk-in shower. And there are upgraded, like, shampoos and conditioners and stuff. This is really nice. It is really nice. It's cool that there's, like, two sinks so we can get ready at the same time. Yeah, oh, that's a good point. I love the split bathroom. I'm so glad that that worked out. We weren't, like, entirely sure that we did book the Spa Junior Suite because, like, it's kind of hard to get information about it. We also ordered ourselves some fun hats <laughs> and a fun blanket. Wow, that looks big. It does. I'm glad. Okay, let's check out the balcony. Oh, we should say that... Um, the couch over here is smaller in this junior suite because it takes, um, there's more space used for the bathrooms. Which so, I'm fine with. Yeah. I'm gonna put this down. Oh, I need to do that too. Balcony is very important for an Alaskan cruise. Oh yeah. Okay, this is pretty nice. These chairs are, uh, this will do. You know, I was worried that like the lifeboats might be in our way. But we're on the bump out. There's literally yeah. no lifeboats underneath of us. Yeah, we got a great room. Um, no lifeboats underneath. Two floors down from us is the Royal Esplanade. Really? Yeah. Oh. So, like, someone could be sitting out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I was sitting out there earlier. Yeah. Well, I think that was, there. like, the Royal Esplanade is on two floors. Okay. You were on the lower floor, I think. Oh. I don't remember. But anyway, yeah, we, we chose um, this room also because it is on the bump out. So it's a better view. And these chairs. Like, I could probably look at a glacier from here. <laughs> this definitely looks a lot nicer than Adventure and Freedom. But it's a little smaller. It does feel a little smaller. I, maybe it's just because of the bathroom thing. I don't know if that's just like an illusion. There is no walk-in closet. We have this closet. Oh, this is a really big closet though. That's good because like our suitcases have to be able to go somewhere. Oh yeah, we have a lot of suitcases because... Well, I guess they could go under here. There's a lot of things you need to pack for an Alaskan cruise. The shower looks really nice and there's like a kind of a window into the living room, into the walk-in, from the walk-in shower. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm dressed for two different holidays. Halloween and... Alaskan holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Something that's cool about this room is it has a dimmer. So the lights oh. can adjust how bright they are. That's pretty cool. Set the mood. Oh, and it has a digital thermostat too. And there's a plug by the bed so you can charge your phone. This is going to be a better airplane pillow than our current one. <laughs> wow, that actually looks like a nice this blanket. It's going to be a great blanket. Wow. I'm glad we didn't bring our taco because this is this is an Alaskan taco. Wow, that looks nice. Wow, this is very thick. Yeah, this is great. They were not stingy with their blanket. I don't know how you spotted that. I didn't spot this one first, um, but... Oh my God, we have a doorbell. <laughs> okay, we just got this delivered. I didn't know we had a doorbell. We have a doorbell that's really cool, but look what we have. It's even cooler. Okay, anyway, <laughs> so AJ said that he left us a secret in our room. I found it. It's, they have a cute little baby it's son. A duck. And so their son has cute little baby stickers. And they left some of the stickers this, in our room. This is the one I spotted first. That's crazy. I don't know how he got into our room. You said he has the gift of the gab. He has the gift of the gab. He can <laughs> talk himself into anything. <laughs> he must have convinced the stateroom attendant to leave us some surprises. <laughs> but, okay, we found two. Hopefully that's it. Otherwise, you know, I need to... There's no actual ducks, but we haven't even really opened up the drawers or anything. It's possible that we find yeah, more. Oh, that looks like a nice hair dryer. Okay, hey. Let's test out this doorbell. It's very loud. That's so fun. We have a great location because here's our door. Literally. And here's the elevator. That's the way to do it. Seriously. My brother-in-law said there's more hidden things in our room. We haven't found them yet. I've been looking and I we can't find them, so. Yeah. We'll find them later. We will. We'll probably be surprised and it'll be fun. Ooh, this one's green. It means it's going up. 
That's cool. Does green mean up and red means down? Yeah, the other one turned red before when we were going down. But yeah, now we're going to get our reservations at Coastal Kitchen, which is only for people in a suite. And junior suites count. So we're eating there tonight because we looked at the menu and it looks delicious tonight. Okay, this looks like our photo hint. This is okay, okay, okay. There's a duck, there's a duck sticker. Okay, so here's a sticker. This is one of Grayson's, my nephew's stickers right there. Okay, but is there so, supposed to be like a duck duck? There's supposed to be a duck close by. Maybe, cause that looks like the plant maybe your mom sent. Oh, okay. Dig through, start digging. I don't want to. I don't think there's a duck. There's in no there. duck in there at all. Unless it's gone. Unless someone found it already. I hope not. It could be in this one. We could also look on the other side. There's like a matching potted plant over there. Okay, let's go to the other side. I do wish we had our bags because we didn't pack a swimsuit. We didn't follow our own advice and pack a bathing suit and our carry-on. But I thought like, oh, it'll be cold. Yeah, I thought it'd be too cold too. Okay, it has to be in one of these. Like, I feel weird, but where's the duck? Okay, I'm gonna look at the photo again. I mean... After looking at the photos again, it has to be because this orange pillow... It's solid. It's solid. The other ones were had a pattern. So it's either in this one or this one. It has to be. This one has this thing. Which... I saw its beak. I saw that thing peeking <gasps> out. <gasps> Duck! <laughs> oh my god. Let's see. What does the bottom say? Brian and Karen. Ovation Alaska 2021, Naples, Florida. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that's funny. So this was your mom's. Did your sister yeah. hide one too? Or was yeah. that the sticker? No, there's two rubber ducks. Okay, this was your mom's duck and yeah. your sister and AJ have a duck as well. Yeah, so we have one more duck to find. We should rehide this one, I think. We should, absolutely. We're it's cool that your parents' it. names are kind of, are very similar to ours. Yeah, <laughs> Brian and Karen and Brian and Carrie. Yeah. <laughs> Should we get a soda first to celebrate? Yes. Okay, let's go over there. We never talk about this. We just got our um, souvenir cups that we can fill with soda. Because we got the soda package. Because we get the soda package and we get a souvenir cup. Um, we never mentioned that before. On Adventure and on Freedom, they were the same cups, the same design, I should yeah, say. This is a new design. But this is a new design and we really like it. And it has the name of each ship. I'm trying to find ovation but i can't find it so i don't know if, oh wait okay ovation of the seas imagine if someone had a poster of each royal ship that would be so cool <laughs> and you could like scratch off the ships you've been that would be too cool oh my god check us out on etsy <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay here's my problem because i'm a graphic designer every single one of these ships are the same on one line except for symphony wow why is that i don't know we were just talking about how cool this solarium is, and this is so much better than any solarium we've seen. And these hot tubs even are better than the ones that go off the side of the ship on Freedom because it's still a really cool view. And I am so excited that we're going on Odyssey soon, which is quantum class. So I'm glad that that ship is going to be like this. It makes me even more excited for that cruise. And then we have anthem booked for like a year from now yeah. so lots more in the quantum class coming up uh, so we're gonna rehide the duck i hope they want us to rehide it maybe i should text her and see okay this is an easier find yeah it's still hidden but like you can tell that there's a duck there but i think that that's part of the fun is to rehide it yeah okay now we're gonna check out the sea plugs I mean, if bumper cars are happening, we should do it. I don't think they're happening right now. Okay, so right now they have pickleball set up. That's kind of cool. We just met Danny. I spotted him first. Of hard travel fame. Did you see him? I, I saw like a tall man and I was like, is that, is that Danny? I, I, as soon as I saw him and then I saw his polo that said hard travel, I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh my God, it's Danny. Oh my God. I wish you were wearing your hard I travel know. sweatshirt. I almost did, is the yeah. thing. He's that not, was so cool. He said he's not sailing on this ship. He's just yeah. here to tour it. Yeah. That's crazy. That's so cool. Okay, some people are playing pickleball. But I got a hot dog here from the C-Plex dog house over there. I want this one. <laughs> so this, this other pink one, this has a GoPro mount on it. Good. 
for our GoPro. That's funny. None of these other ones do. I feel like it would get really, like you're bumping, so like, wouldn't it come off? I don't know, the GoPro mounts are pretty sturdy. All right. That's funny, we should try to get that one. <laughs> we got our bags, we did some unpacking, and now we're in our swimsuits, and we're gonna go in the hot tub here in the solarium and probably sit in here until we sail away. It'll be a great view. Yeah, because it's right next to um, the bridge. Uh, the lookout spot from lookout. the bridge. This will be the perfect spot to watch us leave. up in the hot tub and we are sailing away. There's our room over there. Oh yeah, our room is on that bump out over there. That's the bump out over there. That's where our room is. We're sailing away. Tomorrow is a day at sea and then we have Juno, Skagway, and Sitka following that. Okay, we've been out here for like 45 minutes now, and it's getting cold now. It's very windy. Tomorrow's a day at sea, but our next stop after that is Juno. Um, this is a really unique cruise though, because this is, an, this is an Alaskan cruise that is not stopping in Canada. Which so, is only happening right now because of the pandemic. Canada doesn't want us lowly Americans there. <laughs> yeah, and normally a cruise that starts in America and ends in America, has to stop in a foreign port, um, but they passed a special law so that we're on a really um, unique cruise right now. So we only have Alaskan stops and then we're back in Seattle. Yep. Now we're gonna go get ready for dinner. We're on our way to Coastal Kitchen where we've never been before. It is exclusive to suite guests. We're in a junior suite, which means we can only go at dinner time. Okay, so we're inside. It looks pretty cool in here. You don't want to look outside because you're feeling the motion. I feel the motion. Like, even I just turned around to look and it was like... I'm doing fine. I think it was just that one turn that we made. And like, ever since then... The ship turned around like completely. Yeah, and like my wires have been messed up since then. Well, I'm doing great. Good for you. We both got the pork belly as an appetizer. Get in my belly, pork belly. Get in my pork belly. <laughs> okay, you got the... Rigatoni. I got the um, Branzino. Okay, we finished our dinner at Coastal Kitchen. And now, well, we came down here to the Esplanade to go to either La Patisserie or the cafe to get some dessert to bring back to the room. Because we just wanted to eat in the comfort of our own room. We... Oh, God. Okay, so no Gus, but we have dessert, so it makes up for it. We got our dessert, and I'm really tired. I'm still on East Coast time. It's probably like nine, not even nine, but like we're ready for bed. Yeah, we're gonna eat this and then go to bed, and tomorrow we have our day at sea. In our next video, we find another duck and some less than ideal weather as well as uh, more movements in the ship as we will encounter uh, seas and swells from the west on the port beam.